Why is Mitt Romney struggling in these states, especially in Florida? Joining us now is former Florida Senator George Lemieux. Senator, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. You know, I can't understand this. In Florida, I'm just talking Florida for a second. Governor Romney seems to have the edge in the Medicare debate with all the seniors. That, that would the way it appears to me. He certainly should. He has the edge with Cuban Americans amongst the Hispanic vote, so I am told. And he's got the vote. Uh, uh, he's got a swing towards Governor Romney with the Jewish vote because of the events in the Middle East. So why isn't he out there running in front? Well, I think it's part of the larger national campaign, and he needs to really, I think, focus on the issues that Floridians and Americans care about so that he can win this election. So you blame his campaign and his well, candidacy? Well, I would say, look, you always look at the candidate. There's always these internal stories about campaign strife. I put them aside. He needs to make the case. He made that case, I thought, at the convention. He made that case by picking Paul Ryan, that he was going to focus on the big issues to solve this nation's problems. I want to hear Governor Romney talking about those big issues again. In Florida, we still have a very weak economy. We have an unemployment rate that's 8.8%, and that's, you know, as we know, doesn't count all the folks who've stopped looking for work. Uh, mortgage foreclosure, really, capital of the country. At one time, one in four home foreclosures in the country were in Florida. Yep. And I just saw information this week that in Tampa Bay and Orlando, that critical I-4 corridor, where 50% of the voters in Florida live, Foreclosures are up 47% over August of last year. So you're saying there's plenty of stuff to go at. He hasn't gone at it yet. What I want Governor Romney to do, and I'm not advising his campaign, this right. is just me as a citizen, is to talk about the America that he wants to achieve. Give us the vision, the big ideas that Peggy Noonan has described, that the campaign doesn't seem to be articulating now. I don't want to see Governor Romney being the attack dog for uh, that campaign. He doesn't like it. He's not good at it. It doesn't seem natural to him. I want him to do what Ronald Reagan did, which is tell us the America that we can be again, the America he believes in, and how we're going to get there. I think he'll be comfortable doing that, and I think he'll be persuasive. The three of us on this side of the set, looking at you, Senator, are all thinking the same thing. You are implicitly a, 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 a criticizing Romney's campaign and the way he's conducting the campaign. Well, look, every, this is a, the most difficult job in the world is probably running for president. It's a very difficult job, and far be it for me to say that I could do it better. But my advice from the sidelines is that this is a man of extraordinary accomplishments. He's a man uh, who we found at the convention is a tremendous human being, and he's a man who believes in this country. And he has had great success in the past in turning around things that have failed. I want to hear from him in the closing 50 days, now the closing argument of this campaign, the America that we're going to achieve under a Romney presidency and what it's going to mean for Americans under that presidency. If he does that, he wins this election. And you haven't seen it so far? Haven't seen it right. uh, in the last couple of weeks. Former Senator, Republican from Florida, George Lemieux. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks so for having me. We appreciate you being here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Uh, you just saw the polls. Romney has a